under the law, so foreigners are basically whoever whoever lives outside of Israel that's not Jewish or whoever's not a citizen of Israel. Not Jewish, yeah? Okay, we're going to talk about that one. I like it. What's it called? It's called the. Uh, uh, it is. Sorry, I'm educating myself here. And it, so I apologize. And and then, can I can I also say one of the one one of the one of the amendment number three. One of the things I don't really like about debating speakers corner is you're all as a Jew you're always outgunned at one to one hundred. Yeah, one to one hundred. Whenever you come to speakers corner as a Jew, you've got a hundred Muslims. So you just where's the hundred? Look around you. Look around you. How many Muslims are in speakers corner? They're not here for you. They're not here to attack you, my friend. I haven't seen you for I haven't seen you for two years or one year and a half. Let's this. So to respond to your point, Jews have been chased and persecuted in so many countries. You keep saying this. They're right, they're right. You're saying that Jews haven't been massacred. No, but that, that's not part of the issue that I had. That's I'm trying to explain the right to return to you. Okay. If you want to understand the other side, every, the other perspective, every, you have to listen. Everything you say starts with Jews have been persecuted. Yeah, because that's the like whole... That's, and when you wake up in the morning, your wife asks you for some food. You say, look, <laughs> Jews have been persecuted. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad that's so funny. I'm glad that that's so funny for you. I'm glad, Mohammed, that you find that so funny. I'm glad it's hysterical that my people have been persecuted. No, and every generation, no, no, no. we've been slaughtered by six million in the Holocaust. Come I on, lost family. Man. My friends in the Muslim world were chased out of the house. This, no, 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 because you're laughing at me. Yeah, you're, but, laughing but you're laughing at Jewish suffering. You're laughing at Jewish suffering. Joseph, now you're. I'm oh, sorry. I'm laughing at the fact you keep saying it. And I made the joke. I'm glad, I'm glad that you wake up in the morning. I'm glad that's funny. I'm glad that every single, every single Jew that's watching this will understand your mentality. No, man. Because every single Jew watching on YouTube, blacks have been attacked. Every single Jew watching on YouTube, Rohingya, will watch you laughing at me saying that. Well, I think this, what's happening there is tragic. Yeah. I, I believe. So why have you not said in one sentence? I've actually. Uh, I've been, have been uh, abused. And I've got a website dedicated to this, but you never asked me about no, anything. Excellent. Thank you very much. Maybe we can work uh, separately on this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking. I'm only joking. I'm joking. No, no, no. <laughs> to, to oh, understand, yeah. to understand Israel, to understand the right to return, you have to understand Jewish persecution. Okay. To no. laugh at Jewish persecution no, shows that you don't Jewish... understand it. But was I laughing at Jewish persecution? Or you were laughing at me yeah. taking it seriously. No, no, no. I'm laughing at you continually using the same sentence star. That's what I'm laughing at, yeah? Okay, so you were saying that Jewish uh, people have been continually suffering. Go ahead, go ahead. Let him, please, uh, please continue. So the right, the, right, the right to return. Get to the point, please, please. Go ahead, yes, sir. Apologize. Okay, so you laugh at me, then you dictate that I've got to get right to the point. No, okay, beautiful, no, beautiful. No, no, Mashallah. Masha, such, no, no, we no, say no, mid-dot, no, such no, character no, no, traits. No, no, okay, apologize. To um, go ahead. To understand... That's <laughs> 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 uh, fine, it's fine, actually, it's fine. It's no, fine. no, 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 you're going to say this soon. You're going to say this soon. Apologize. You want to laugh as well? No, 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 I don't want to laugh, mate. No, 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 I don't want to laugh. The thing is, I. I back you guys up all the time. Literally, I'm, I'm you not. personally will back up to the EDL, will back up to the far right, because I have lots of followers on my channel from the far right, and every time I'll come to your defense. Literally. And no, defend you personally. I'm, I'm not laughing. And to have you no, laughing at me, actually, like. Okay, I apologize. I apologize. I, I wasn't laughing at you. I was laughing at the fact that you had the same sentence that are over and over. That's right. Okay. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, Joseph. Go ahead. You are making a point. I'll let you, I'll let you talk. So to understand the right to return. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you know we've got love for you. All life people like that. It's just it's funny, bro. Imagine, 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 imagine if you had a Palestinian here, yeah, Mohammed? Imagine if you had a Palestinian here. <laughs> Yeah, but we can say that as well. We no, can say but what Joseph, Joseph, so No, and I think Muslim that, suffering is really yeah, important. Well, That's why I campaign against his other folks. Don't be angry. Let's smile so, and laugh so, about so, it as so, well. So, so, always, you know, don't say it to Take understand. It easy, Just get into it. Go ahead. Go ahead. So the, Israel, yeah. part of why it was born, was born out with Jewish persecution. So there can yeah. never be another Holocaust. Yeah, yeah. Israel, many Muslims believe that Israel was born because of the Holocaust. It's not. Like the Holocaust happened because there wasn't in Israel. Had Israel existed, there wouldn't have been six million Jews sent to their death. So for Jews, we believe it's essential that we have a homeland. So that we're not dependent on the benevolence, the kindness, the mercy of other people. So, well, it's, not, so it's not Muslims well, coming you, to our defense. But what's the so it's not the, defense? So it's not the, can I just finish a point? Yeah. It's not the Ottomans rescuing us from the Inquisition. It's not, it's not the, the British rescuing us from whatever persecution we're experiencing in Europe. Okay. It's so that we can fight our own wars and defend our own people. Okay. And part of that is having a state where Jews can escape persecution. 
So, tell, so tell me, now, what's this got to do with the right to... You, the you, right to... Exactly. exactly. Just, just, just to repeat the question, I apologise. I've given you a chance. You just said to me, you made the, you made the very generic claim that actually... There's no laws and there's no... I said to you... discriminate you, against Gentiles I, I in you, Israel. I said to you that there's no... I said to you both the, the laws and the actions of the Israeli government from the very inception of Israel in 1948 in May up until this time, which is exactly 70 years, have shown... Discrimination. Have shown discrimination. Now, if you want to believe... I'm not saying you do believe this, but if you want to believe that... Gentiles are superior, uh, sorry, that Jews are superior. I'm not saying you believe in this, but I'm saying that if you want to believe as a man. Mate, this is so on, offensive no, what you're no, saying. I'm sorry, hold on. I'm sorry. The right to return is me, based on Jewish let suffering. Me, let me finish. Nothing to do with Jewish let, supremacy. Let me finish. Let me finish. I said nothing about anything right now. I'm just saying that if, if someone, uh, a rabbi, wants to believe that the Jews are the chosen people and that, you know, they, they have. Uh, they have the priority to Mate, you're just being a, you're, you're turning into an anti semite No, it's not. Jews don't I believe they're chosen. Be well, hold on, hold on. He's a semite himself. Yeah, yeah hold on. Okay, great. Now you, now you deny the Jewish hate. Okay, call you a Jew hater. You're turning into By the a way, Jew hater. I did a, I did a, you're talking about rabbis, you know, you're say saying it. they believe they're chosen? No, I didn't say it. I said if. It's a conditional statement, okay? In the English language. It's, it's, it's like me saying if a Muslim is a paedophile or if a Muslim is a terrorist, it's offensive language. Well, you have used that statement before. You've said this before, haven't you? No, I haven't. I've never said okay. Muslim's a terrorist. No, and no, I will no, outright. I've never said that. I've never said Jews Muslim's a paedophile. I've never said this. You're saying if a rabbi believes that Jews no, are. I said, if I, no, I didn't. Look, the, the videos have got me, yeah? I said if a rabbi or a Jew wants to believe that actually Jews are the superior or that they have right to the land, or that Gentiles are secondary, no problem. Mate, who, who says um, this? What you're doing is you're conflating two or three statements into one. There's a difference between, first of all, the idea of chosenness, um, which is nothing to do with, with ethnic or racial superiority. Okay, so how does it, how does it come about? Okay, so the idea of chosenness is... Are you a rabbi? I'm not a rabbi, I'm, oh. a, I'm a religious Jew. A religious Jew, come, come in the... I, thank you, guys. Hi, my friend. Hello, nice to meet you, I'm Stephen. Hi, Stephen. Nice to meet you, Stephen. Nice to meet you, <laughs> Um, hello, how are you, how are you doing? <laughs> so, um, basically there's this idea of, of, of chosenness, they say basically that we, we, didn't, we aren't chosen in the sense that we're better than everybody else. We're, we're chosen to perform certain obligations. Not just to ourselves, but also to the rest of humanity. But, uh, for my reading Promote of, monotheism. From, okay, yeah. you can correct me. Because you, mono, you might know. As Joseph just said. Excellent. Spread what's monotheism. Your, oh, sorry, what's your name? Stephen. Stephen, you might, you might correct me if I'm wrong here. Cause I don't know, yeah? But from my reading of the Old Testament, yeah. it seems to me that the chosenness of the Jews is more than what you've just described. Oh, so, so what is it? So in, in my reading of the Old Testament, it seems like God chose the, 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 the children of Israel. He selected them, okay? But not only this, that they are now not only the representatives of God on earth, if you like. What's that? This, by the way, this is Muhammad. Muhammad. Oh, they're dancing there, yeah? Okay, sorry, there's some uh, people there dancing. Go to the police. <laughs> uh, sorry. Uh, what was I just saying? Anyways, you're saying that so in the Old Testament, yes, yes. So even even things like this, God repented to the Jews that God had a wrestling match with Judah and lost. Had a mess, just, wrestling match with Judah. Jacob, 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 Jacob. Sorry, uh, Jacob. And it doesn't it doesn't it say, say that God wrestled. Said it's an angel. Said, no, they said it wrestled. It says God, a man. It says a man. And God, it says wrestled, God wrestled with God wrestled with Jacob and lost the match. And he renamed uh, Israel. Uh, Ishmael is a wild horse. Or You're reading really English or. translation, but First no problem. But this is got nothing to do with English translation. Because for what me, does this have to do with what, what being I'm chosen? No, no. What I, what I see from the Old Testament reading is that really, and that's why you have interest laws, which are. Do you know who you sound no, like? You, you sound like Tommy Robinson. Okay, no problem. From, from my reading of the Quran, all the Muslims no, 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 want to kill the kuffar. No, no, all the Muslims. No, 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 that's no, 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 what you sound no, no, no. like. I'm here to be corrected. That's the difference okay. between me and Tommy, yeah? But he's not saying anything. I'm either. saying Stephen can correct me. You being a chosen people. So I'm just saying, saying a central tenet of the Jewish faith seems to be the chosenness of the Jews, which separates them as an ethnic group above and beyond other ethnic groups. What does the Quran say <clears throat> about what? The Jews being chosen. So what we believe as Muslims is there's two kinds of verses that are referred to. Yes, we, we believe that Jews were chosen for a certain time and period, but it doesn't mean in terms of 
ethnicity that they're any superior or less I superior. Can, than you're just showing your own insecurity then. Moreover, we don't believe that. We don't believe that. Though, we right? don't believe that. You may believe that we were chosen above other tribes, the also other says, people. We don't believe that. As a, from a theological perspective, the Quran actually offers a challenge to uh, the Jewish people who believe that they are chosen. You know this. Let me tell you the challenge. Now you ask. Let me, let me give you the answer. There's two challenges. One is from the Bakara, and one is from the Jumu'ah. It says, if you think that you are the chosen people above and beyond all other peoples, فَتَمَنَّوْا mot. So, so, uh, so opt for death. In Kuntum Saad, if you are, if you are in fact truthful. So in other words, if you believe that spiritually you have nothing to fear from the afterlife, why are you in this peasant world? Why don't you ask? For death to come and strike you, so that's, that you can go straight. That's an Islamic yeah, question. That's a, because that's, that's not that's even, not, oh, that's that's not even a Jewish part. question. That's I have to tell you this. That is like so why, far removed. What are you doing religion. here? Because the whole point Ask of our, the whole point of our presence here. Life is for death. Did you just say? I said. I said. Look, look. If you think that you don't really hear, you're chosen above and beyond all other peoples. Yeah? We don't think that. You we keep don't, saying you don't we believe, think that. We don't believe, don't believe that. that. No. You don't, we, 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 what, what, what is a Gentile? What is a Gentile? A ge do, okay, do you want to know the English term, the Hebrew term for a Gentile? Tell me what Gentile is. A goy. The, a goy. Do you know what the Jews are called in the Torah? Go ahead. A goy. Do you know what goy translates to? Go ahead. Nation. Nation. Okay, so what Goyim is nation. So what are Gentiles? Gentiles are just non-Jew. Okay, so or or wait, Jews. So it's are, just a word that describes the, nation. What is the distinction? Are you telling me here? Sorry, but because... Okay, so I mean, can, I, can I explain something to you? No, hold on. Even in interest. Well, I'm going to ask, answer your question. So, are you, I, 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 Is there no law, in your opinion, that differentiates a, a Jew from a Gentile? There's loads of laws that differentiate. But just like within Islam, there's laws yeah, that yes. differ. Muslim, but it doesn't yes, mean Muslims Jew, are superior. But, yeah, hold on. It doesn't mean that Muslims Jews, are chosen. Jews are ethnic groups. Not, you just said it yourself. No, the difference, no, hold on. The difference between the Muslim laws and the Jewish laws is that every race is... A, a Can Islam you convert... Is, hold on, hold on. Islam we have the Am, you have the Ummah. It's the same. No, no, hold on. Okay. Islam is a racially inclusive religion. So is Judaism. Judaism. So okay, you, no, no, you have black Jews, no, white Jews, Chinese Jews. But they're not treated very well, okay. are they? They're treated exactly the same oh, in really? religious... Oh, really? Oh, come on, man. Don't go there, man. No, don't go there, man. But the other thing is, like, if tomorrow... If tomorrow you decided that you wanted to convert to Judaism, Inshallah, there's hope for you. Yeah, yeah you can. You can, you can be <laughs> I'll do also. Wait, All you need that. to do is take the shahada. Can I finish? Can I, can I, can I finish? Conversion what I is not easy. So it's not easy. Why? Because I'll tell you why yes, conversion is not easy. Yes, yes. Because if you want to accept the truth, you have to accept people that only accept Judaism because they acknowledge it's the truth. Say this again. If if people are converting to Judaism. Is because they accept that Judaism is true. Okay. So there's many people that would convert, for example, where maybe they they fell in love with a Jew, uh, a Jewish girl, okay. or a, or a Jewish guy, or there's other reasons. Maybe they think they're going to get more money. I don't know what <laughs> funny ideas people have about Jews. So that's why we we make it difficult. It's also because and for a, for a different reason as well. There's that's one reason. The second reason it's difficult is because and it ties back in with your question is we believe that God gave basically. Um, seven laws to all of humanity and they're called the Noahide laws and to Jews he gave an extra 606 laws and there's what called if you've heard of them the, the 613 mitzvot so basically we believe What's like that called, sorry? The 613 sorry. mitzvot commandments. 613 commandments so basically you as a, as a non-Jew obviously you have your own religion which forbids you from doing certain things sorry Stephen sorry can yeah. I just say something yeah. if, if um, somebody wants to Revert or convert into a religion. Yeah. Should it, it be something that should be made easy for them to do? So, like, is it just, this, this is what this is a conversation within Judaism and, and as well. What you're should saying. Should it be yeah. the intention of that person that you, that, that you guys should make it your business? To okay. Them God. Let, let me ask you. 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 Let me Okay. So the thing is, like, if, if you take a non-Jew and we ignore Muslims and talk about Christians, right now when a, a Christian person, or we can say the same for Muslims, you're allowed to eat shellfish. We're not allowed to eat shellfish. So now if you decide to go home and have a prawn cocktail, you're not doing anything wrong. But if you become a Jew, then suddenly you'll be, you'll be oh, sinning against God. And what the problem would be, no problem. the reason we don't encourage people Stephen. to convert, can I finish the yes. point? The reason we don't encourage people, unless they're absolutely 100% sincere, is because someone who... Rev who converts and then changes their mind and goes back to their old ways, at the moment, you eating she a shellfish sandwich, you're not doing anything wrong. If you become a Jew and you eat shellfish, you've and the, the, the other, the other use Do you mind if I just ask a question? Let me ask you okay. a straightforward question. Yeah. I, and this is actually me genuinely yeah. asking a question I don't know the answer to. Okay. So this is not a... Uh, okay. 
Yeah. It's just, it's genuinely not. A, I seriously. want to trust you. No, 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 it's not. Here's my question. You're saying that you're saying that, as far as I'm concerned, yeah. you're saying that Judaism and the Old Testament corpus, yeah. in general, uh, encourages um, a racial equality. Yes, That's what you're saying. Yeah. The words okay. of the Bible. So when, I just, he, when he describes the, the, the creation of Adam, the first human being. It says he was created but Selem Elohim, which means in the image of God. So we which believe that will. every human being no problem. is equal and has so an you, image and the spark you, you, you of would, holiness you inside. You would say them. that ra uh, racism is a bad thing. Of course. Okay, yeah, no problem. Without saying. Can I can I do this is seriously, I just want to ask this question, yeah? Can you give me one explicit statement in the Old Testament corpus which wait, hold on, which says or challenges racism? I just gave it to you. It says no, 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 no. no that's it, not challenging I, racism. Yes, it does. It's saying that Adam was so created first, in the image I, of God. Can I just respond to that? Racial con race is a construct of the 20th century okay. moralism. Yeah. No, no, I don't believe that's true. Race has always been part of life. Yeah. No, there's been people with different skin color. In the Jewish tradition, we were a tribal people. You had different Jews and. It, particularly in later history as we spread out, that began to intermarry with different communities and took on different racial characteristics. Yeah. No problem, but say. I just... I but with the Judaism, yeah. Judaism doesn't say anything for or against race because it's yeah, not... Jewish, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to walk away, this guy just screams at me. Really no, he doesn't say to me as well. You don't believe the Bible. You believe the Torah. Okay. The, the Bible. Why are you sitting in the Bible? Because that's an English word no, no, no. that refers Without to. Without Kone, you're not there. You have to sit in Torah. No, 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 and he can talk about the Bible as a Christian. Okay. <laughs> so as I was asking, right? I'm just, just to let you know, right? If you ask me, where does it say in the Quran and the Sunnah that, that race is not an issue? Where does the Prophet Muhammad challenge race? I can easily get you like extracts of that happening, yeah? Where he challenges racism. Like the, someone saying to so, uh, someone who's uh, a black man, that you know you're a son of a black woman like Bilal okay. and then the Prophet reprimanded him for that for example okay. and the Quran says in the Akramakum and the Prophet Muhammad says uh, I, want, I, want, I want to respond with all those things I've got to like respond in the Christian no, it's not what this is it Someone is Arabic, someone who don't speak Arabic, okay. Thank you, only conditioned by law and condition. Just forget the guy. <laughs> so it says here, there's no difference between an Arab and non-Arab, or a yeah. black person or a white person. Okay. Okay. Said that, yeah? okay. okay, so anyway, so this is not Quran, but it's says Hadith of the Prophet Muhammad. Yeah. At, the, at the same time now, these are things I can cite. So if you say, where does the Quran or Sunnah challenge racism? Easy, yeah? There's no difference between a white man or a black man or Arab or non-Arab, except for uh, God consciousness or piety. Now, okay. is there an equivalent in the Old Testament? Okay, so it does It does say, because you, you wouldn't expect, as Joseph said, race is a 20th or 19th century construct. Why you do you would, say it's a Because you wouldn't expect to find that exact word or, or a Hebrew translation of it. You see, look, because this it, is, no, if it was 19th century, well, how could the prophet say it? Uh, uh, because what you just said is there's no difference between an Arab and a non-Arab. No, no, he no I said that. He didn't, he didn't, as I understood your translation of, yeah. of the Arabic, he didn't use the word racism. I'm not saying that. No, 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 I'm not saying racism. Yeah, I'm, not so saying, okay, no. so I'm saying you wouldn't expect I'm just to find that. Where does it, where, that do, where do we language. see? Okay, so I want to give you an example. Yes, yes. So it says, um, don't oppress the stranger, because remember that you were strangers in the land of Israel. But the stranger is not referring to the race of the person, is it? No, it's referring to anybody who's not Jewish. Where do, how do we know that? No, and don't because, oppress them, it's not the same as saying because, that they're the same in terms the, of racial equality. Because the, yeah, you can still be racist, but don't oppress them. Well, oppression is a type of behaviour. So just, just don't my, behave my, my, my don't behave differently to someone. Why are we still, just... still a, a religion that is pious and pure will teach you to yourself okay, to so not feel that way. Do you understand? Because if, yeah. if you're allowed to feel that way, if your religion tells you to feel that way but don't act it out, then that's still wrong. That's not pure, is it? Well, that is, the, the, I again, do, it goes into a whole different mindset. I've, I've read things on the doesn't internet, doesn't really which I'm sure you have as well, feel. It's all which give examples of yeah, supposed racism. No, of course, that, okay, what I'm saying is that things, like, things like, like okay, okay, because, because we believe that so if you, I've read Hadith, if you behave I've read, in a certain way, so let's say, but the only one I want to say, I don't want to, because my modus operandi is not, my modus operandi is not to attack Islam, and I don't want to make enemies, and most of the places I read this is places like answering Islam, and people who have a very 
maybe he's stronger like generally. Right. 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 No, no, right. no, maybe they give away. What I wanted to say. What I wanted to say is an absence of something. And eventually, when you behave as a generous person, evidence of something else. I'm not saying it is. So we say the proof. The proof. The our proof. You reject it. You didn't like it, but that is the traditional Jewish understanding. I'm just saying. The traditional Jewish understanding is. All men are considered Betzalem Elohim and we're all equal. And it goes as far as saying all what people say? because all it, no, so it doesn't talk about race, I'm trying to answer it. Okay. Trying to answer it. it says all people are equal and all people that do good deeds go to Olam Haba, the world to come. Okay, you so it, you don't have to be Jewish to have a portion in Jannah. In Islam you have there's no Jannah. There's Olam Haba. Yeah, so which is not Jannah. Well, it's, it's Jannah is Jewish. Uh, we don't need no one to come our religion. No, no, no. no, 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 no. As, is it Astagfirullah? What's, uh, what's, the, what's the expression? Ya Rab! Ya Rab! No one to come to our religion. So here, look. As, as far as I know, in, in the principles of jurisprudence in our religion, yeah? In, in for example, transactional things, yeah. everything is haram. So everything is halal, yeah? Which means uh, allowed. Except that which is mentioned is haram. Okay. So if, for example, if I wanted to eat a prawn, Self, a shelf is sandwich, yeah? I could do that in Islam because there's nothing that really says it's haram, yeah? It's okay. wrong. Now, I'm not sure how it works in your, uh, in, in Jewish law. But I suspect... Similar, similar process. It's a similar process, no problem. We have a specific prohibition yeah. that we are not allowed to eat from the sea, right. anything that doesn't have fish So for, ex for example... Some Muslims say that as well. Yeah, yeah, I know. Hanafi so, so say that, yeah. But I'm not talking about this. I'm talking about, so for example, if Judaism or if the Old Testament doesn't say something is prohibited, then by uh, by virtue of the, by extension, we should say that actually it's allowed. Okay. Yeah? But first of all, I don't know. I don't know. You, you can make, make that as a, as a general Positive principle. Legalism. As, yeah. a, as a general yeah. principle, but what you have to also understand that there's there's actually four layers of and four different ways of reading. That. I don't know how it works in terms of like yeah, understanding yeah, Israel. 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 In terms of um, reading and understanding the the Torah and the, and the Tanakh, the text of the of what Christians call the Old Testament, we have four different layers of reading and, and understanding that's been built that so the, literally it may say you may look through the text and uh, and not find something literal there but in the in the further commentaries and further understanding it's, it will be explicitly referenced you say this passage refers to x y or z depending on whatever the principle is okay i understand what you're right. saying but you see, you, you agree of this principle of legalism which states at, at its core that actually everything in terms of transactions not in terms of worship so it's quite similar to what we believe in is allowed until it's explicitly mentioned that it's not, not allowed prohibited yeah is this is this yeah. what i understand yeah. 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 so if that is the case then unless we are to find something in the old testament corpus yeah <laughs> That says specifically that that racism or differentiation of people based on race is wrong, morally incorrect, or there's some kind of reprimand from Moses or any other uh, of the other prophets. Then we are to assume that racism is an acceptable attitude. Okay, so I, I, I reverse that back and yes. put that back to you and yes. say, anywhere in the Quran does it say that you can't have relations with a girl who is 13 years old? Wait a minute, what are we talking about? Racism or no, 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 13 the reason, years old? You're talking no, no, about positive no, legalism. No, 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 the, no, reason, no the, reason, the reason I'm saying it, because I'm not going to say that all Muslims no, believe that we, they can we'll, have relations. We'll talk about that, no problem. No. But f focus on what no, I'm no, saying, no, no, then no, we'll put that as an asterisk, no, no, we'll put it in the bottom uh, footnotes, no, and we'll, we'll address it. It's relevant, it's relevant. It's very relevant, but let's address it. Okay, what Joseph's trying to say is that you're essentially, in philosophical terms, trying to have your cake and eat it. That you're no, trying, I'm, no, I'm no, talking you're about trying, race. You're trying to talk the about. Whole you're, you're trying to say that you apply a principle no. in one you're, area that you don't. You're apply trying in another. to. Show, no, you're no, trying on. to show that in Islam, yeah. we can in Islam. Look, you're, you're trying to say no, within you're Islam. Answering a question with a question. You're trying to say within Islam. It's a very Jewish thing, by the way. Yeah, 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 you're trying to say. You're trying to say within Islam. There is a precedent that there's a law which forbids racism. And you're saying because you haven't found an explicit mention of discriminating against race, that that's, um, racism is permissible within Judaism. I'm not, I'm asking. And we're saying it categorically isn't okay, can you give because me the of the concept of Betzalem Elohim. All men are created and equal. So when you go through Jewish, can I, can I, can I extend that? When you go through Jewish law, for instance, there's laws to do with, um, whenever there's a law, for instance, it's forbidden to steal. And it's forbidden to steal from a Jew or a non-Jew because we believe Betzalem Elohim, everyone is created in the image of God. What no, you're there, can I, can I, can sorry, I finish sorry. my point? Can I, 
The only instance where this is overruled, where a law that applies to a Jew no longer applies to a Gentile, is where it explicitly states that. So, for instance, usury, which is the one you brought up, yes, ribbon, um, interest, um, which is the the no, yeah, interest. They call it you just mentioned um, interest being charged on a loan. It explicitly states that you can't charge a Jew. If it didn't say you can explicitly can't charge a Jew, then it would apply to all people. So with Jewish law, unless it explicitly states this is only for Jews. Jewish by ethnicity. Jewish by religion. Jewish so by religion. So, Jew, Judaisms are really interesting. So Jews, we believe, we're, 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 believe we're um, a people, we're a land, and we're a, a religious system like a Sharia or a Deen. So it's those three things. Um, religion is a almost like a Christian so, concept so, and it doesn't really apply to us. Can you guys um, treat me as an ignorant here, yeah, in the sense that let's say you guys are the knowledge and I am the, oh, you guys are the teacher now and I am the student, okay? okay? So don't attack me because when you attack a student he doesn't learn, okay? I'm asking a simple question. Okay. Yeah. Bit salam al Yeah. In the in the uh, which was man is created in the image of God. Yeah. He translated it as man is all men are equal. That translation is nowhere found in any of the English Bibles. Okay. So hold on, hold on. First of all, the English translations, Christian translations, are notoriously unreliable. You're talking about Christianity rather than Judaism. No, hold no issues. Not even. I mean, I would ask you to tell me where any rabbinical exegete, yeah, any rabbinical exegete has said that salam al entails yes that jews as an ethno uh, religious grouping are equal to for example arabs is there anyone that said that, that almost every rabbi it's right down to the concept where we have Olam Haba, the world to come we say it's not we're the only religion that says that anybody can go to everyone can go to paradise as long as they're a good person whereas within islam it discriminates no, 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 I'm not talking, within, within, I'm not talking, please 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 i'm not talking first and foremost let's not conflate the word uh, paradise with what we have we will believe in like Jannah is not the same you don't believe like as far I once again okay. you can correct me yeah but as far as my reading of the Old Testament goes I have not seen that there's anywhere in the Old Testament where heaven or hell are explicitly mentioned no they're not that's, they're not that's an so, actual principle of Judaism thank you because so, I explain to you why it's not mentioned because so that we serve out of love for God and not because of the reward no problem excellent but then you cannot say explicitly that such places exist like we believe in Muslims and Christians believe I'm in heaven. Sorry, we, our religion is more than the Old Testament or the Tanakh. Yeah, yeah. It's more than it's also the Talmud. Yeah, I understand, but even then, but right? it's all over the Talmud. All over no, no, yeah. hold on. But we talk. The Talmud is the legal rulings and of the or, or, so and consensus not only, of the. Not only that. Yeah, but no, you've not. been listening to my videos because that's that mine's a fringe opinion within Judaism, and that's what I like. My so what, so what is it then? So it contains the oral law, which was given to Moses at Sinai. Okay. It's the court notes from the legal rulings, which it, it definitely is. Yeah. Um, but the fact that you responded with that, that is quite, well, Hashem, I've made Muslims my Uh <laughs> it's, it's, it's a sorry, Jewish joke, um, <laughs> Jewish politics. Um, it's, it, the, the Talmud it contains the oral contains the oral law, the court rulings. It contains a lot of agadot, um, just, um, sayings and parables from the, the rabbis of the time of the Mishnah. Yeah, explaining and historical events like for example what happened to Moses after he left Egypt before he redeemed the Jewish people okay. where he lived. He went to Africa for example. Right. And okay. So within uh, there it talks about the Olam about Haba the, a lot. Uh, right, right. That's, about the and the legal rulings etc. Everyone yeah. would agree with that. And that's largely where we get no, Olam Haba no, from. No problem. But that, what I'm saying to you here is taking a step back and asking the original question. I can cite you no less than three or four different places in the Quran and Sunnah, or five or six, a handful, a dozen of places, where it explicitly mentions that being offensive to someone based on race is something from Jahiliya, or what you would call pre-Islamic ignorance. Maybe, maybe that's because it's a problem that no. the Muslims suffered from and the Jews didn't. No, 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 hold on. So you didn't no, have no, to please. Make, didn't please, have to be please, please. I'm just saying, pre-Islamic ignorance, right? So here, I think racism that's, that's is saying, okay. no, no, racism is something which is universal. Okay. Yeah? So how do you how do you explain to me? Because you said that so I just want to know. I was just wondering. That, the, okay, so you said the Islam's opposed to. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm not an expert in Islam. So no problem. Right? We can correct each other. Okay. That's the whole point of process <laughs> right. of learning. So, as I understand, in Islamic jurisprudence, uh, a, a non-Muslim 
yes. is not able to give evidence in a court against against the Muslim. Is that correct? So here, I, before we move on to um, the distinctions between Muslims and non-Muslims, the premise I've put forward is that races are all equal. Okay. Like one individual race, one person of a, one individual race okay. is not higher or lower okay. than another person of any individual race. Okay. So one me as an Egyptian, for instance, yeah. yeah okay. And by the way, I've done this ancestry test. Okay. You know that you know the thing where you go, yeah. Yeah. and I have five percent. I had five percent Jewish. I had five percent. That's why you're so smart. <laughs> <laughs> but I also had, uh, you know, I had some. I had a good mix. You know, I had like tw I had like almost twenty percent uh, West African. You know, and these things. Anyways, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Any anyways, having said this, having said this, <laughs> having said this, right? I was gonna say to you. Yes. That actually, I think it was 24 percent. I can't remember. <laughs> but uh, not of Jewish, of the West African, African, uh, some sort of. Um, what I was gonna say was that here, if you agree that discriminating on someone based on their race or treating someone differently or thinking that you're better than them because they're from a different country of origin, yes. which is was the result of the accident of birth, yes. yeah. That's a bad thing, and it ought to be challenged. And my question is, no, I'm, this, if that's the premise, if we both agree on that same premise, because you can say, well, I don't agree with that premise, and it's in your right to say that. And you, and you can call on me by saying, it, prove it objectively outside of a religious framework, which will be difficult. Okay. However, if you, if I agree with that premise. If you agree with that same premise, then I would say to you, listen, the Quran and the Sunnah are very clear that there's no superiority of a black person over a white person or an Arab over a non-Arab. The, and the Prophet challenged directly people that were anti-Jew. Did you know that? For example, Hafsa, who was, who was the wife of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when the Prophet Muhammad married a Jew, he married a Jew called Safiya bint Khayyay. He married, she married, he married... Khadija bint Wattba. He married Safiya bint Khayyay. This is the one after he executed her husband. When he married uh, Safiya bint Khayyay... This is the one after, he, he, after he the war he when he, execu he, he executed her husband. He didn't execute her husband. No. Her husband that's, a, that's, a law, that's a law couldn't be. But hold on, hold on. That law was... But, no, yeah, let's not get into tangents. That's a good example. No, no, I just... I'm, I just, I'm, I'm making, making a point. I see, I see, someone just showed us a really good point. No problem. Who was Moses' no, wife? We got an example was, of yeah. what you asked. Let me just finish. Support, you know, when, no, no, Moses' wife was a black, woman. a black woman. No issues. No, and we believe Moses was black, so that, that makes it even better. And, and there's no and there's no problem. Anyway, <laughs> who's we? The Muslims. Yeah, Muslims believe, yeah. Muslims yeah. believe yeah. But, but Moses, Moses was black. Was black. Yeah, dark skin, black. Not like white like you, no way. No, no. So, no so, prophet was like your colour. So, 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 so was Ishmael... David, no, 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 no. Was Muhammad, was Muhammad also black? Because they are two, they are two. Was, was you have to know, but at the top, just Moses coming, and Jesus coming, slave is not black. At the time, slave is discrimination to say the people, it doesn't matter white or black or not. Yeah, I know, I get, you know, I'm just doing okay. something else here as well. So yeah. let me just, uh, so when Hafsa, when, ha when Hafsa said something about Safiya, he, he said to her, she said to her, oh, you know, the Jewish, you're, you are the son, you're the daughter of a Jewish person. So the Prophet, he corrected uh, Hafsa, and he corrected this, what you would call, he corrected this, what you would call the uh, mo uh, modern anti-Semitism. And he said, actually, he said, you are the daughter of a prophet and you are Tahta Nabi. You are also under the uh, prophet. Uh, Tahta is, is under. Yes, Tahta. Yeah. 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 So you're also, so you're, you're married to a prophet and you're, you're the daughter of a prophet, like going back to Harun. The same thing with Bilal uh, ibn Rabah, who was a black man, who was, uh, who was uh, attacked by Abu Zal Ghafari. Who was uh, uh, an Arab? Who so said is this, to, this actually? This is the Quran or from this the hadith? This is hadith. So we believe in the hadith and the Quran, both of those corpus corpuses. So when he was attacked by him, Abu Zal Ghafari was at, uh, attacked him and said, "You're a son of a black woman." The Prophet was very angry with him and he corrected him and said, "This is from the Jahiliyyah of the pre-Islamic Arabs." And now, so he corrected the racism. So not only, and the Quran says, "Inna akramakum and Allah atqaqum," and that's certainly Allah. Yes. And the Quran says, uh, or, or, you know, he says that you know. Uh, he talks about the different colors of the creations. There's a min al-nasi wa al-dawab wa al-na'ami. Mukhtalifun al-wanu wa kathalik. That from, from the different uh, people as well, you have different colors. Wa inna, uh, inna ma yakhsha Allah min ibadihi al-ulama. That certainly the ones who have piety of Allah, they're the ones who, who fear God. And they're the, the, the ones who know. So in other words, there's enough in the Islamic corpus, in the, in the Quran, the Sunnah, to show that 
racism or the idea of thinking yourself superior over another race is an abhorrent, uh, ignorant, pre-Islamic uh, idea. Now I'm just asking, is there an equivalent in the Old Testament like that? Yes, yes, Numbers 12. Can I read this for you? Yes, please, go ahead. Numbers 12, Miriam and Harun, Mo, um, Aaron, Moses' brother, opposed Moses uh, over uh, him marrying a Cushite. A Cushite is yes. a black person. Someone he's, in, he's in the Torah. Yeah, from Cush. From Cush. Yeah, 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 Cush. Yeah. Okay, so Modern that's a proof for you. No, no, Miriam was banished for seven days for opposing, for being racist, basically. Okay, no, but here, here this is talking about marriage, yeah? So all we can extrapolate from this is that you're, as a Jew, you're allowed to marry a, 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 a Cushite. And right, by the yeah. way, a lot of Kushites are Jews anyways. Yeah. No? No, no, no. no. Um, if you're in this case, she, she wasn't a Jew. In, in these she days, wasn't a Jew. She wasn't a Jew. No. Okay, okay. Uh, at any rate, what this shows is that you can marry a Kushite. And in the same book, Numbers... It's you cannot dis they discriminate against her for not being a Jew and for being a Kushite, a black woman. Okay, Come so where, where does it say, don't talk about her being a black woman? Listen. No, that's what no it, where does it say? Could you read it? Look, look, look. He married the Kushite. Let me read it. Let me read it. Okay, sorry. Let me read it out. Let me read it out. Sorry. When he says Miriam and Aaron began to talk against Moses, a black woman. Hold on. Let me read it. So you're looking for something explicit, but is Aaron the prophet here? Yeah, he's Aaron is the prophet. No problem. And you believe he was a prophet as well? Yeah. Okay, no issues. I just read it out because he made the point. No, because I just want to make a point before you read it out. No, no, no. You're telling us, like, yes. You're, you're basically building as a straw man, Muhammad. No, yeah. what, what, what we're telling you, we're telling you, we're telling you, telling you what, what we're telling you, Jewish, 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 saying there aren't Jewish races. Judaism views there are some uh, Muslim racists as well. I'm sure. Judaism views the races. I know they exist. I'm talking about Judaism. Judaism views the religion. Judaism views the world as tribes. In in this period. And the Kushites were a tribe. Yeah. The Israelites were a tribe, but they were made up of 12 tribes within that. Yes. And so the, one of the characteristics, racial characteristics, so to speak, of the Kushites were they were black. Yeah, yeah. And so the Judaism doesn't see color. This is why it's so frustrating when I argue with black no, no, Hebrews no, no, or black Israelites. No, 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 it's because... Explain to him that is not at all Judaism. Judaism has been made it by, by Golda Meir. We you call them Al Yahudiya, Din Al Yahudi. Tourism even exists by Golden Mayer. She make it like we have IC, yeah. we have the shit now, we have the poor shit now. Same, he's been making it by Golden Mayer. Nothing called in the bar in the Torah. And you know that nothing no, called Jurism. That is not just Al Yahudiya, Jewish Yahudiya. Jurism, nothing to do. Nothing to do at all in the Torah, in the book of Torah. The the that, um, the open the Torah fear, and the order. Uh, uh, Judaism uh, is killed, only uh, being dying by the Koda Mayer, being dying by the bad internationals. Or the people, the riches, they want to make money uh, after they had a religion. Was, uh, Thank you. Fight men of that and the end, was, uh, he is Jewish, Jewish. I can't talk to him. I really don't know Jewish. Jewish. I really don't know 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 Jewish. Who's the father? Is Abraham? Al Khalil. Who's the cousin? His heart and his mind. That was the punishment according to Allah. That's why he gave him that punishment. Thank you. Okay. So Miriam was given leprosy in punishment for her racism. Where does it say that? She was, brother. Look, I'm not gonna make it up. I know you're gonna judge. No, no, I want to see. I'll show you. I'll show you. I just want to know. Yeah. Show me where it says. Alright. So he was angry at them for opposing Moses for marrying a Kushite, an Ethiopian, a okay. black woman, right? So that defines her no, as a black there. woman, yeah, Kushite. Religion. Now, the oh, punishment. The politics, um, we got to Moses, we just come back. When a cloud lifted Mohammed. from above the tent, Miriam's skin was leprous. So she was given leprosy. No, but hold on, hold on. That doesn't show no, you. Can, 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 can I just say one thing? Can I say one thing? Mohammed, you, you said that you had a question and you genuinely wanted to... Yeah, leprosy. Mohammed, you said... Mohammed, you said you had a question and you, and you genuinely wanted to know the answer, but I actually don't think that was genuine. What? No, I don't know. No, I think you were just uh, basically that was an instance of attempting what I consider religious supremacy. No, in the I'm sense not that, in so. the I'm sense that you, you no, no, in the sense that you said, can you show me anywhere in the Torah? If you, okay, if you. No, no, can I? Can I just okay, kind of finish? And you then said, look what it says in the Quran. It talks all about racism and how you can't be racist. And can you find that in your book? And that wasn't a sincere question. That was that was basically 
religious supremacy. Okay, if you believe it, no, but hold on, hold on, hold on. Joseph, that's fine. If you want to believe it's religious right now, right now, supremacy right now, right now. and if it wasn't sincere, right now, that yeah. can be your opinion. It's not a problem. If I want to say something, okay. I'll back no, we've, right. we've answered right, right, right. We answer the question from a Jewish perspective. No, but I'm 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 tell you what, the mainstream Jewish so position. All of you guys have tried right. to answer the question, and I'm happy. And we've tried, and you've won because you're the religious supremacist, and Islam comes out on top. Mashallah, Alhamdulillah. Happy that you come to agree with it. On that note, guys. <laughs> I think we're done. Thank you. That, 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 that wasn't sincere what you did there. What? That, that was you attempting Noah. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, that's why I'm here. And the, the mic, this mic's still on though. Well, yeah, no, I'm, I'm doing that one. I'm just going to edit it out. No, no, no. He's, uh, he's, 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 he's neutral. They're, they're neutral. They're, they're, they're very good. Yeah, YouTube for today. Yeah. I'm free, nigga. <laughs> yes? Okay, Bismillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah. Obviously, we begin in the, name, in the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. And the reason why I begin like that is because any conversation where Allah is not mentioned, or the praise and uh, salutations on the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam are not present, then that, that gathering is a cursed gathering. And Allah could either 